So, why'd you bring that? What? Why'd you bring what you brought? So we can have a uh, uh, beer pong in the pool. Do you want to die? <laughs> so let's go. Oh my gosh. So this is what Glenn brought and <laughs> he's like, but look, it's all natural. It says made with natural apple flavor. And then this one, a screwdriver from Smirnoff, made with natural orange flavor. And the heat, honestly, it's, it's about 93 degrees right now. So we're gonna use our pool and take advantage of it. I'm not trying to drown and I'm a really good swimmer. So I bought this last year and it's a beer pong raft that you can use in the water. And we never got a chance to use it, uh, but I wanted to show you the sun protection I'm using. I've been using this uh, Shiseido and it's just the ultimate sun protection spray broad spectrum SPF 50 face and body. I really like it. And I think this is what made my mascara run yesterday uh, because I sprayed it all over my face. I wasn't really worried about my mascara. And then we've also been using this one, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I'm almost out of it. I have a backup bottle, but I really, really love this stuff as well. Okay, we're gonna put these for the dogs. These are their little refreshments that have their little pup eyes. All right guys, we got our setup. We don't have alcohol in there because obviously we don't want to spill inside our pool and put chlorine in our pool. But this is what I bought last year. Alcohol we never got to pool. use it. What? Also or put chlorine in our pool. Or put chlorine in our, what? Put alcohol in our pool. We don't want the alcohol to splash in the pool and we don't want to put chlorine in our alcohol. There you go. <laughs> so here's our setup. Yeah, so I got this last year on Amazon. It was pretty decently priced. It wasn't expensive. Now we can finally use it, but we're gonna wait for our drinks to get cool, but just something fun to do. So I'm laughing because Glenn, I beat him in beer pong, and at one point he only got the middle one and I was getting them all. And what did he say? He said, you went to college, that's why. <laughs> Is that what you blamed it on? Yep. I said, what does going to college have anything to do with beer pong? He's like, you went to college parties. I'm like, well, I haven't played this since I was high school, but still, it was just so funny. Babe, I love your excuses whenever you lose. It's the truth. So I won because I went to college. Yep. <laughs> this just shows like my party level. What or what? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Having fun. We just drank so much of the Smirnoff. We just killed a bag of these. So good. I ate all the crumbs. Okay. <laughs> I have like a really good buzz right now. The Smirnoff is so good. The screwdriver tastes like legit candy and the green apple tastes so bomb well remember the bed that we just got ewok yesterday well kuja decided to destroy it because i don't know if he got jealous or not apparently he did why'd you do that so now ewok's all just like uh i don't know what's going on that was not very nice we went out to eat for the very first time it was definitely different um they had uh, disposable chopsticks and spoons and we went to Yuzu Shabu Shabu which is our favorite in Cerritos I've talked about it other, other times but we came back and I'm honestly so sad because Cujo destroyed Yepi's favorite baby and I'm honestly so sad because this is like the little security blanket and then I'm sure I already showed you guys that he destroyed the bed of Ewok and I don't know why he's doing this because he gets lots of attention. He gets just as many treats, just as many everything. He's the one who gets the extra toys and it's, uh, sometimes it gets a little frustrating, especially because it's such a waste of money. You know, we just bought the bed, coupon or not, like it doesn't matter, it's still a waste of money. Hi guys! Okay, so today we are heading out. Glenn does not work this weekend, so I'm super excited. Uh, we're gonna run some errands. I think we're gonna try another Home Goods. It's a Marshalls slash Home Goods. We need to find a rug. Um, we really need to find a rug for our front room because Yuppie, she ended up peeing on it and all that. Also, we feel so bad because all these freaking morons just wanna pop fireworks like at nighttime. It's not even 4th of July. You guys already know the deal. I feel like it's so common. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys something that I did. I'll show you, I'll screenshot the recipe after, but your girl made pork adobo for the first time in the Instant Pot. Ooh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have showed you yet, but yeah, it's in there. I don't use my Instant Pot like ever. I'm trying to find recipes, but I got the Instant Pot Filipino cookbook, so I'll show you the recipe for free. I just bought the paperback book. Uh, okay, let go. And Glenn is so lucky right now. He's like, beesh. <laughs> I taught him the word beesh. <laughs> we say beesh, but 
right now he didn't have his wallet on him. So good thing I'm with him or else he would have locked himself out. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try to ho try to go to a home goods. There's some really good deals. I also want to go to Ross uh, because I heard they have crazy deals as well. These glasses I'm loving. Since I did my Amazon, or was it my reorganizational video of my closet, accessories and stuff, uh, now I could see all my glasses. And this one says Pineapple on the inside. And then this one's from the company Zenny. I really like them. I want to order some of my own. I did a sponsored video with them, and the quality is so good. They're actually some of my favorite eyeglasses ever. I've always been one to overpay and get lens crafters and... I've had some Chanel eyeglasses for like a long time, like um, a long time. And I just switch out the lenses uh, to my prescription. But my eyes actually improved. <laughs> Came in glitch. Today, I told Glenn is my librarian themed look. And I actually wanna do an Instagram post with this outfit, but when I'm wearing like more makeup and blush, but it's like a little, oh, hi, hold on. It's like a Target dress. And it's like a wrap around. It's really cute. Well, there's a line at this one. First line, guys. This one's a Marshalls and Home Goods, though. Okay, so we're inside. Line went really short. Found this one for $129. It's pretty similar to the one we had before. So we just push the little button. So hopefully they come so we can grab it. There's a little button we pushed. Just waiting. I know, I like the pattern on it too. Yeah. Okay, we changed our mind. I went with Glenn's pick because I like the pattern of it. Oh, I like that. We got our carpet. Oh, and did you guys notice Glenn got a haircut? He finally found a barber. He's had the worst luck with all his barbers. They've all quit. Or they got laid off, huh? Yeah. Sucks. But he found one that he likes. Good job on picking out the carpet. Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of it, you guys. Someone said that stuff is good at Joanne's. Pineapples. Pineapples. Pineapple. <laughs> Next up, Hobby Lobby. Little pineapple cups. Oh, they have a lot over here. At Joanne's, we went to, you guys didn't really have anything. We're sad. Ooh. What? We actually got this one and it's surprisingly really relaxing. <laughs> I thought our neighbors were gonna hate us. <laughs> Do they have nice ones? Mm -hmm. They're like outside? Yeah, I was thinking both like for the front or the, the back patio. Mm-hmm. Like that. Like, oh look at this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cute. Look, an Ewok cup holder. His favorite character, Venom. Just gotta keep the air flowing. <laughs> 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 yeah, keep the air flowing. So Glenn's on a roll today. He found this one and then showed the little poem, little frame. It'll kind of mix it up on our mantle. <laughs> Glenn's playing with it. Success! We got some picture frames because our house... Don't be upset. I know you guys won't be upset. We have no pictures of us in our house. That's so bad. That is so bad. Like, what the hell? All the pictures we have just stay on the damn phone. So my next project is to put our pictures up. And then I also want to make albums of all our trips. Like Thailand and Maui and all of that. Costa Rica. Disneyland even and make little photo albums so we have hard cover so say like friends or family come over excuse me can you not spank me <laughs> that's gonna be because you want me to open up the door for you every time I open up the door I'm gonna spank that booty <laughs> Glenn's trying to be a smart ass because I told him I said you know what I said I wonder what it feels like for a man to open the door <laughs> Huh? I'm telling him how I told you that. I wonder what it feels like to have a man open up the door for you because he doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> and I always give him shit. Well, I don't give him shit, but I mention it like as a joke. I don't really truly care, but he, I think he should. Chivalry is not dead. Glenn's a gentleman though. 
but one of our best friends he always 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 opens the door no matter what even if it's an uber for his fiance I guess he does smack her ass too. What's he saying? Now I lost my <laughs> train of thought. I don't know. We just started talking about smacking booties. Mm -hmm. But Hobby Lobby had some really good stuff and lots of sales. We were kind of sad because the sales were there, but then there was a lot of items that are usually out like around this time that weren't out. So, so yeah. Um, but we got some good deals. We got some frames. The pictures, that's what I'm talking about. If friends or family come over, I want them to be able to go through our photo books, you know, if they just want to see our adventures or look through it and stuff. So, yep. Okay, so let me show you the recipe now. Here it is for the, what is this thing called? The Instant Pot. You guys, I never use it. For the Instant Pot, here is the recipe right here before I forget. Eating it up, um, it's very juicy, very tender, and tasted really good. We do, did like a taste test. So yeah, that's what we're having. Just reheating it in the wok. So this is what it's looking like. Looks pretty good. I don't know. The recipe was a little salty. I think it's because I cooked the meat and I let it sit in the pot and we were doing everything and I think it actually over marinated the meat because when we taste tested it, it tasted perfect. But now I think it just soaked up too much of the juices and salt. So I wasn't a fan of it. I thought it was way too salty. And I tried to make some homemade egg rolls. I didn't like those either. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, so I haven't had a flop meal in a while. So I guess I was due for one. It's all trial, trial and error. So um, I'm going to add water to it so I don't waste the rest of the meat. But I'm going to take away a lot of the juice because it was just too salty in the end. But... Yeah, um, let me know if you guys try it or if you guys have your own recipe or if you have a good link to um, pork adobo or chicken adobo, I would love it. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna end the vlog there. I'm gonna start cleaning up and tomorrow I am going to my friend's gender reveal, uh, Serene. So she has a YouTube channel. Serene and Chris are having their party, so I'm excited. So we're gonna leave in the morning time because it is in LA and it starts early. So yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Love you. Mwah.